Average value, very similar to this one, except average value is basically saying f of c equals, instead of going f of c times b minus a, it's just going to keep f of c on one side and divide the b minus a over. So for this one, we're going to do 1 over b minus a. Well, isn't this a and b? So won't that be 3 minus 1? And then you do the integral of this. So the integral of this, well, can I take this? I'm going to take that 4 out. Oh, by the way, there's a times here. You guys okay with that? Or put this in parentheses, multiply. So I'm going to take the 4 out. Then can I rewrite this as x squared divided by x squared, which is 1, plus 1 over x squared. Isn't the x to the negative second? And don't we have dx? And what's my interval? Isn't it from 1 to 3? So all we're doing is take the integral of this and dividing, basically. 1 over b minus a means divide by the interval. That will give us your average value. On this particular problem, you remember, this was your average value, f of c. These are very, very similar, just different wording. So f of c is equal to, isn't 3 minus 1, 2? And isn't 4 over 2 going to simply give me 2 out front? Now the interval, we'll wait on the interval from, from th 1 to 3. Let's integrate this. What's the integral of 1? That's x. When you add a power to this, what do you get? You get x to the... Um, negative 1 over negative 1. Are we okay with that? And my interval is 1 to 3. So my answer for f of c would be 2 out front. And then for the first interval, wouldn't it be 3 plus, oh, isn't it minus? Wouldn't that negative come on up? 1 over 3. Isn't this going to be 1 over x and a minus 1 over x? Minus, isn't this going to be 1 minus 1 over 1? Remember, this is 1 over x and this minus because it's negative. Plug in 3, plug in 1, subtract the 2. So your answer for f of c is going to be 2. And what's 3 minus 1 third? Well, isn't that 8 thirds? Is that correct? Right? And then isn't this going to be 0? So isn't my answer 16 thirds? And isn't that what we're looking for? Average value. Isn't that the average height of your graph? Now, if we went to this problem, we want to find out where do you get that average height? What would you do with this to find out where you get the average height? You would set this equation equal to this. Does that look kind of ugly? Yeah. You'd probably have to do a proportion of sorts to solve it. It'd get really ugly. But you could set this equal to this to find out where those would be. Now, on the interval, it all depends on the interval. Because if you change the interval, does that change your average? Yeah, completely changes your average. 